I'm going to do some random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong. For these random pulls, I'm going to establish a three fawn minimum because when I play at Mahjong time, I like to play at the eight point tables and eight points is three fawn. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have a wind of the round indicator here. We're going to do four random pulls, one for each wind of the round, east, south, west, north, starting with east. We'll just say we're the dealer and we'll get 14 tiles. Okay, we do have a healthy number of BAMs and we have some chow potential with a one, three, three, four, five, six. This right here is the weakness. Single honors. We got to pair up or draw more BAMs for a half flesh. And I think that's what I would do. I'd probably hold this pair for a while to see if we could pair up because then we could potentially play all Pung. But right now, we only have two pair and any pair is a potential Pung. Pung is three of a kind. So I probably would discard these first and push for half flesh, which is three fawn. And right now we have no flowers, that's a fawn so we would have a four fawn hand going for a half flush. And it's okay to mix chows with pungs when you're in a half flush or one suit with winds and dragons. These are also called honors. So I think half flush, hold these, see if we can draw more bams or pair up. South round. I would play half flesh. One suit with winds and dragons. This pair of red dragons, if we could get a three of a kind, which is called a pung, we would get a fawn for that. Then right now we have no flowers. That would be a fawn. So that would be two. We need one more fawn. Half flush is three fawn. Here we have potential chow, potential pung, potential pung, or we could split this out. We have a, a chow right here, one, two, three, potential chow, three, four, potential pung, potential pung. That's one, two, three, four blocks. All we need to do is pair up or draw more cracks. This is only three away from clearing to a half flush. I would definitely play half flush, dragon pung. Okay, we're gonna go on to the next one. West round. Half flush. We have West round, wind of the round right there. We need to pair up. We could get score for that. I would hold it and try for a half flush. Here we have potential chow. There's a chow right there. There's a potential chow. Or we could split it up. One, two, three blocks ish. A lot of work to do here. I think I would hold the two BAM pair 
discard these first. This is our only pair, so I would definitely focus on half flush again. Half flush is three fawn. I think that's the quickest way to get to three fawn is a half flush. Because then you can mix chows and pungs, but you have to get rid of your offsuit tiles. Go with your major suit. Last one. North round. What I would do here, half flush, but I would hold this because if we pair up one more time, we could play all pung. And it's okay to mix pungs in different suits because all pung, which is three of a kind, we would need to pung here, here, and here. That would be three fawn. So I would hold these, discard these first. Right now we have no flowers, so that's a fawn. Push for half flush. If we pair up, maybe go to all pung. All pung or half flush. Those are two quick ways to get to three fawn, but you have to pair, be paired up in order to play all pung. And three pairs is a little light. It's best to have at least four pair to push for all pung. That's why I'm thinking half flush might be better. We have three blocks. Either way, we have three blocks because we have three pair. But chows are much more flexible than pungs. If you have a mahjong set at home, give this exercise a try. It's a great way to practice finding score for your hand, especially if you intend on playing online at an eight point table. If you wanna try Mahjong time, I do have 30 day VIP coupon codes. Send me an email and I'll send you that code so you can try it out for 30 days. My email is in the video description below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Be sure to click that little gray bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.